Oh, it was live. <laughs> Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I am Kenithia Johnson or Kenithia J. Welcome back. God has perfect knowledge of us men. Okay. So I will be reading Psalm 139. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We welcome you. What is it? I forgot. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory. We bless you and thank you. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in the Lord God Jesus Christ, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He, he then ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he is coming to judge all of the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit. No, you get you gonna make me blush. <laughs> the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. God says I was right. <laughs> I was right. Praise the Lord. I'm only so right because I be seeking the Lord. Like, soon as you tell me something, the first thought in my head is to telepathically communicate with God. <laughs> okay? Before I do that with anybody else, I'm always doing that with the Heavenly Father through the Holy Spirit. So that's how I get to be right so much. I'm just, as soon as you tell me something, I just be like, is it true? Or I go within myself. Is what they saying true or are they telling a lie? And then we go from there. What should I do? What should that happen? And so that's how you get to be right majority of the time. Being right, standing, always seeking the Heavenly Father. It, and having common sense. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Knowing right from wrong. Having a heart, having a conscience, not being so evil or wicked. Wanting to do something bad. Wanting to steal something from somebody. That's just not my, that's not what I want. And so I asked the Lord a while ago and I, and I just started continuously asking him, make my desires your desires. Make me want what you want me to have. Okay. And then that also help you not pass over what God has sent to you, either in a blessing, in a thing, in a person, However, it may be because you're desiring what he wants you to have. You, you can't go wrong with that prayer. Okay. Oh, Lord, you have searched me and know me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down. And are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. I'll stop there. Psalm 139, verse 1 through 4. Some of you guys have been very disrespectful. You're sending death threats to people. Uh, one of them, the mermaids, because of your sister, okay? Your sister look like she's moving on and you're the only one that's having a hard time getting over it. And you have a man and a baby. All of it is coming back to cinder. And I make these videos so the babies and stuff don't get hurt. Everything that you're putting on me has to go back to your daughter your boyfriend, or you yourself, depending on who you did it to out of my family. So it's unfortunate that your child got to get burnt by the fire because her mom doesn't have common sense to know when to back off and stop putting spells and hexes and mermaid magic and witchcraft on people for her flesh, for her way. And one of the things, 
when you are getting older or maturing because you are so young, you keep doing the same thing that you hear God rebuking you for. What you call that, them people? The parable about the prodig the prodigal son. And so what the Lord is just saying when he brings that to mind, he will get rid of all your riches. Don't think you could do not one witchcraft spell that's going to stop God from transferring all of that wealth from the wicked evildoer to one of his righteous souls that's been faithfully serving him. And he got waiting for them. That's why we go through this and we get tested. Either you're going to keep your spot and be obedient to God or you're going to get replaced. That's why the Esthers were raised because the Vashtis were disrespectful. At the end of the day, it was disrespect that got Vashti kicked out of that kingdom. Don't let your disrespect. You think because I'm not a king, but I'm still a queen. And you think because I don't have that physical wealth, but my God, what I have is way more than you. You got the money and I can say a prayer to the God who manifests the money. It may not make sense of why I don't have my own and I could pray for somebody else to get it. But that's what God is saying. Trust him. And if he could do all of this for me, what makes you think he won't come over there and put that death back on you? You mermaid using magic. You, you using your mermaid magic. You're going to die if you marry her. You're going to do suicide. How about you drop down and die right now and the world wonder what happened? Was it stress? Was it, a, was it a heart attack? Was it just a sudden death with unexplainable causes? Stop playing with God, man. Like y'all just doing these death rituals and thinking people going to fall down, lay down and die without a fight. God's people. Hmm. Oh, Lord, you have searched me and known me. And are acquainted with all my ways. Why do you think God allowed you to get away with it, though? Did you ever ask yourself that? When in the, any of that, by, does evildoers do this? Do they have enough sense to ask themselves, damn, if the Bible really say this, why did he let me get away with it? What does he got planned for me? Am I doing my, am I digging a ditch for my own downfall? And he just not saying nothing because he know I got enough sense to know better. This even come with the attacks through the children. What you did last night with the chocolate ice cream or Sarah or this or that. Like, I'm not naming names, but I like, come on, y'all. I could name them. Stop playing with God and stop playing with me. Then y'all get mad for me coming on here live and, and exposing y'all. That's what the light does. Exposes darkness. That's what I'm going to do all day. Stop with the family witchcraft, says the Lord. Y'all, my cousins, keep putting witchcraft on me. Keep doing this. Get, stop. That's what God is saying. Stop before somebody dies or something really bad happened. You think people falling out with strokes for no reason, having cancer? Cancer is for the wicked. And y'all just, let me tell you something. <laughs> death threats, the definition, let me stay on course. A death threat is a threat to kill someone often made anonymously to intimidate the victim and manipulate their behavior. Death threats can be verbal, written, or electronic and can be made through movements, gestures, texts, or email. Some states only consider written or verbal threats as criminal threats. This is why we have God. God's perfect knowledge of man. Holy Spirit is here. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. Can I tell you, you didn't get away with nothing you just did to me. 
or to somebody else that you wasn't supposed to, but that you are reaping what you have sown. You are reaping or getting ready to reap what you have sown. Okay. Death threats spiritually are just as bad as text or email. And so when the police can't do it, that's what God is saying. I'm there. We entertain angels unaware. You don't know what God is going to do to come through for his person that stayed obedient and endured all of this persecution you just put them through. You can say you did it spiritual, but the fact that you did it, you broke a law. You didn't break a, 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 a state law, but you broke a law law. You broke the kingdom law. We have kingdom laws and we have state laws. And then we got the commandments, the 10 commandments, which are, it's more commandments, but we have the, the, the commandments of God. All of it is what we're being tested on. The fact that you thought you could get away with all this stuff you've been doing or stuff that you have done, it shows God that you're a trickster, a liar, manipulator, and a controller, says the Holy Spirit. You are reaping what you have sown right now, or are you getting ready to start reaping what you've been sowing? Seeds of discomfort, stealing peace, joy, Breaking up love, threatening to kill, stress that causes death. You have to reap it. 